Feels good to ride the rails. Sure does. Eager to drive once we're in Gralia? <laughs> if they'll let me. <laughs> we're fortunate to have the regalia at all. We owe the First Secretary our thanks. She'd get more thanks if she gave us a discount. Those transceivers are top-notch. I recall when the Hydrian raged. In the midst of the Empire's retreat, one conspicuous craft remained behind. The Chancellor's. <laughs> the last thing I remember seeing was his ship heading for the altar. I fell unconscious and was powerless to stop him. I'm just glad you're alive. Oh. Is someone else there? The Gladio. He just came back. Where did he go, anyway? On a brief reconnaissance. Something caught my ear. Hey, Captain. Mission complete. Splendid. So what caught your ear? Rumors of longer nights. They've been growing longer day by day. Should this trend continue, before long, there won't be daylight. The Empire has already slain half of the Six. No wonder the whole world's in disarray. I guess. And longer nights mean more demons. Seen that with our own eyes. I happened to overhear a fellow passenger discussing this very same phenomenon. So he sent yours truly to seek him out. Nice police work. Well, don't want to keep him waiting. No, we don't. Back in a moment. Sure. There you are, buddy. Did you see this? Oh, it's unreal. Never seen anything like it. Doesn't make any sense. I'm not liking that snow cloud. Kind of gives me the chills. Like, who comes up with this stuff? What the hell are you doing here? Whoa! What's going on? Easy there, buddy. Oh, didn't see that coming. You all right? Shut up! Yeah. Be careful there! Wait, is this for real? Oh! No! Oh. Yourself. Uh, knocked. Ha! That son of a bitch. What are you after following me around this whole time? It's all your fault! What are you talking about? Do you really mean that, knocked? What? Are you saying it's not? Yes. What good would it do me to hurt you? Who cares? Can't we talk for a sec? Never. Knocked. Are you okay? No. Where's Arden? Wait. He's here? If he is, that would explain all this weird stuff happening. I bet he's behind the train stopping. Ignis and Gladio went up to inspect the engine room. I say the two of us go check out the rear. Yeah. Protect the people! It blew 
EMTs can self-destruct. We can't let them inside. Well then, we take the fight to them. Yeah! <laughs> 
How long were you in the dark? You've got to stop this thing. Prompto fell off the train. I pushed him. I mean, Arden made me. I don't know where he is, but we can't leave him. Stay calm, Nogd. I'm as concerned for Prompto as you are. But stopping the train would endanger everyone on board. We'd be sitting ducks for the demons. What do we do? First, we drop the passengers off at Tenebrae. We'll be arriving shortly. What about Prompto? Given the Chancellor's involvement, it's probable he's no longer where we left him. In any case, he may try to contact us. Let us wait and hope for now. Can you make your way here? Gladio's with me. Are the two of you okay at least? Yes. Okay, on my way. Huh? I'll be there as soon as I take care of these stowaways. at the end of the tunnel. Yeah. 
And things just got worse. Well, look who's here. Haranea. Guess we've got you to thank for this mess. More to it than meets the eye. You want to know who to thank? Come with me. <laughs> Can't wait to hear this. What did you do to your eyes? Oh, uh, just a flesh wound. Can you see? I'm afraid not. Wow, that sucks. It's a cruel world. Uh, wasn't there one more of you guys? Yeah, there was. We lost track of him. Is he dead? I... I don't know. Then quit moping, keep hoping. And in the meantime, handle what's at hand. So if it's not you, we thank. Oh, thank the demons. Pawns of the Imperial Army. The army that you fight for. Fought for. My men and I are in the search and rescue business now. <laughs> the Chancellor is running some circus. The High Commander got the axe. Literally. And the Emperor is no more than a husk at this point. Everyone in charge is gone now. It's total chaos. All hell broke loose in the Demon Labs. Elaborate. Unprogrammed MTs left to run amok. Same for the demons we caught. And now they're everywhere. They emanate from the Empire? Yeah. The capital's crawling with them. As if that wasn't bad enough. The bastards are stronger than ever now. It's gotten too far out of hand for the army to deal with. And there's not enough daylight anymore to keep the demons in one place. <laughs> and so that's how they got here. Then there's the crystal they stole, for the good of the people, which never sees the light of day. <laughs> A lot of good it's doing anyone now, locked away in the Imperial Fortress. Uh, you mentioned being part of the relief effort. We have a favor to ask. Ask away. In light of what you've told us, we can't allow the other passengers to continue on. Sure, leave them to me. 
But who's gonna drive the train? Now that you mention it, yeah. You know anyone? I do. In fact, I know two. Your new engineers. Biggs and Wedge. No need to worry. They can take a licking. Only if we have to. Driving a train to Gralia. That all. Well, who would you have me ask? You got us there. We'll do it. Hey, really appreciate you going out of your way. Yeah. No sweat. Hey, thanks for the lift. We're happy to help. Can't say the climate will be as cooperative, though. You know? Right, especially the gorge. The place is freezing. Makes sense what with the ice goddess's cold corpse lying around. It's a rather long ride, so I suggest you bundle up before we ship out. By the way, I bumped into a woman from the manor. Used to serve house floor A. Must have gone off looking for you. Said she had something important to discuss. With me? Guess I ought to find her then. You, Prince Noctis? I, uh, yeah. Have we... Oh, blessed be the stars. Just look at what a fine young man you've grown into. I am Maria, a retainer in service to House Flore. I doubt you'll remember me after these long years. I, um... Can't say I do. Don't worry. Who I am is of little import in light of what I wish to discuss. Lady Lunafreya risked everything to spirit the Ring of the Luciae away from the Citadel. Did she... <sighs> Stars above! My fears have been assuaged. Lord Ravis too will be overjoyed to hear this news. Ravis too. has begun to fail me. No, I cannot accept it. <sighs> By your hand, it must be done. To deliver the ring and inspire the king is your calling. You mustn't fall. But I lack the strength to go on. Find it, Lunafreya. You have the will. Go to Noctis. Show him the truth of your heart. I understand you will go hence to the Imperial Capital. Yeah. Lord Ravis has King Regis's glaive in his safekeeping, and it was his wish to return it to you, my prince. Though I imagine it will not be easy for you to find each other. I'll 
get it from him somehow. I pray it shall be so. May the stars watch over you, Prince Noctus. About the crystal. Remember how I said it was locked away? Uh, yeah. They really don't allow anyone near the thing. The Emperor himself never got close to it. The lab rats had a theory that the crystal posed some kind of threat to the demons. The way they see it? That's the reason the Chancellor had the Emperor go after it in the first place. Hmm. Dunno, but... That theory holds water in my book. Certainly explains why the kings have always guarded the crystal, and how they kept the demons at bay. Long story short, we're stuck in this rut until you go and take back what's yours. Her dress arrived. She really loved you, Prince Noctis. I... <sighs> Thank you. At first, the father had mourned the fate of his chosen son. Yet in Tenebrae, the two found solace. It was not the Oracle who assuaged their fears, but the girl she holds the true power. I have little to offer a king other than the voice afforded the oracle. Nevertheless, and I'm afraid you might find this foolish, but to be together with Noctis again, even if only for a short while, it would mean the world to me. I do not seek to guide him, merely to stand beside him. Lady Lunafreya worried she was burdening you with the wedding. That's not true, is it? No, not at all. Lady Lunafreya was lucky to find a nice guy like you. <laughs> Thanks.
Lady Luna Freya once tended a garden filled with scylla blossoms, watering the flowers herself. Sadly, the whole field went up in flames. Uh, it's heartbreaking to see what's become of it. It's rather strange. Lady Gentiana has not graced us with her presence as of late. Perhaps she has no reason to stay, now that the blood of the Oracle is no more. Like her, others will eventually leave, and the land of Tenebrae will be lost to memory. Is the manor badly damaged? It's seen better days. So have the civilians. They've been through a lot. And the Chancellor's the one who put them through it. Put us through a hell of a lot, too. He never gets in our way. But he sure loves messing with us. Well, there's a good chance he got his hands on Prompto. Just hope he doesn't mess with him too bad. Ready to depart. Just swapped out the damage cards for some new ones. Give one of us a holler when you're ready to shove off, then. Dining car's open, if you need a break. Don't worry about the civilians. They're in my good hands. Can't say the same for you. Watch yourselves in the capital. We will. <laughs> Thanks, Arnea. We'll see you around. It's... snowing. Get your ass on board! Yes, sir. No. No wonder it's so cold in here. We must be approaching the Glacian's cadaver. Won't be a blessing if all we got's a body. Let us hope we pass through the gorge without incident. It's what's after the gorge I'm worried about. Once we get through Gore of us, we're there. We've come quite a long way. <laughs> it's depressing when it's always dark out. Still dark. Seems there's scarcely anything left of day. It's all gone wrong.
Who could this be? Hey, what's up? Okay, thanks for letting us know. I wonder what it could be this time. Attention now. Yeah? What's wrong? You may have noticed we stopped as for the cause. Outside, you think? We'll take a look. Oh, well. I hope it's just a quick snow shoveling job. Indeed. It's freezing. We better keep moving to stay warm. The Glacian did this. It's a shame. She's lying dead. <sighs> Damn, it's cold. Let's clean up out here and warm up in there. <sighs> better make this snappy. I got this. You just sit back and watch how it's done. Bet I could show you a thing or two. Well, that, by all means. I
Let's clean him up quick. Watch out, Iggy. They're on top of us. Ah, thank you. Don't thank me yet. Yeah! 
What's up? You better get in here. Something's not right. Got it. Hey, there Come in a on, sec. Iggy. Right. No way. You! Hold it! Oh, that son of a bitch. A coldness that can only be hers. to the world. Sister, cease this madness. That boy will never be king. Noctis is chosen. It is ordained. You of all people should know. I know that you are throwing your life away. That may be. It's my choice. If only... If only I could... hear his voice once more. If we could laugh together as we... did as children. She's gone now. You guys check out our drivers. Got it. You good? Yes, I'm fine. Let's go. It's 
hard. I guess it was hard for you too. I'm sorry. I couldn't be there for you. I feel I've earned the right to call you not. For a moment I felt death's chill wind, such is the might of the gods. But then I remembered I'm immortal, such is my blessing and curse. Your attack hurt me nevertheless. My feelings at least. And after all the memories we've shared, Remember this? Ah, I should have asked if you remember him. Truly a blast from the past. <laughs> hey, ah, ah, ah. You mustn't take what's not yours. Where is he? He? <laughs> the little gunman's a short shot away. Where? Where else but Gralia, the seat of the Empire? I'm sure he'll be delighted to see you. And you might even find your crystal. With all these demons about, you could certainly use it. <laughs> Off you go, then. I wouldn't want to keep you from your friend. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>